Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, I'm Sifa Al-Fulkhan from the whole faculty of the Muhammadiyah University Nursing Program Ponorogo At this moment, I will discuss about mental health First, what is mental health? Mental health is affected by events in life that leave a large impact on a person's personality and behavior Good mental health is when our mind is calm. A person who has mentally healthy can use his or her abilities or potential to the maximum. On the other hand, a person whose mental health is impaired will experience disturbances in mood and ability to think. Next, based on the symptoms, mental illness is divided into two namely psychotic and non-psychotic. A. Psychotic mental illness Psychotic mental illness is a mental condition that makes it difficult for sufferers to discern reality. Some mental illnesses including psychotic are bipolar disorder, severe depression with psychotic symptoms, Misunderstanding B. Non-psychotic mental illness Usually, people with non-psychotic mental illnesses experience emotional disorders or have a mindset that is not in accordance with applicable laws or norms. Examples of non-psychotic mental illness include Depression Phobias Panic attack Obsessive Compulsive Disorder or OCD 3. So, there are many causes for mental health disorders like this or this this and all of this Therefore, I will read a few First, Kinetic Factors Second, Head Injury Third, the influence of toxic substances, alcohol, or drugs. 4. Severe stress for a long time. 4. Reason for the importance of maintaining mental health. Mental health is an important thing that need to be maintained for anyone. People with excellent mental health can do activities productively. Mentally healthy is also good for social life, like mensana in corpore sano. For example, someone with good mental health has a lower risk of chronic diseases such as stroke, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. 5. Or less, I read how to maintain mental health. 1. Respect yourself. 2. Always try to see the positive side of a problem. 3. Treat yourself like you treat other people you care about. 4. Find the best way to manage stress for yourself. 5. Be grateful for everything you have. So, I think that's enough for what I say this time. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.